Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from MacTech Keyboards. And today we are taking a look at a new Holy Panda. Another one to add to the list. This is the MMD version 3 Holy Panda. Now, I actually had tested the first, I believe they were the first. They didn't have a version attached to them. And I've seen listings for the V2s, but I skipped them. The V1s. They were okay tactiles. They just weren't as sharp. But I've got to say that before this, my favorite Holy Panda was actually the Fecker. I'm not fond of the Drop or the Glorious Holy Pandas. I thought they were actually quite anemic in my opinion. And this one, it has a very stiff, not stiff, but it just, I don't like really light switches. So this one, it requires me to put a little force into it. Granted, it only has a 60 gram bottom out force, but I think it's because of that heavy and sharp bump that you start to feel. It's almost like a complete capital D because that bump starts at the top and you can feel it going all the way down. And then you feel a pop right in the middle of the actuation on the way back up. So it's a really nice, sharp, and for those of us that like heavy tactiles, it's definitely a heavy tactile. And it actually sounds quite nice. And the switch does include a 60 gram bottom out uh, for spring. That is approximately 13 and a half millimeters. So it's a nice short one, but it definitely has some compression. The top housing is made from a polycarbonate and they are unbranded. They have a space for a brand, but they do not have a brand on them. The bottom housing is made from a nylon and the stem is palm. And as you can see that glistening there, these are pre-lubed. There's absolutely no ping to speak of. Just a quick tip, whenever you're working with uh, tactile switches, if you open them before closing them, always press down on the stem first so that you don't take any chance on damaging your leaf spring. Now they do have a total travel of 3.2 millimeters, so they are quite a nice a long stem pull. They have a satisfying pop for a bottom out. And in the keyboard actually tend to have a bit of a deeper tone. Today I'll be doing a sound test of these MMD Holy Panda V3s on a stock GMK87 with some die sub PBT keycaps that come in measuring at 1.7 millimeters of thickness. Now I do also have the MMD Sea Salt tactiles, which somebody had asked me to take a look at, and I will be reviewing those shortly. Um, I really haven't had a chance to play with them, but I may do a quick comparison uh, between those and these to see which ones I personally prefer, but provide sound tests for both. So today I'm going to go ahead and leave you with a sound test of these stock. As I said, they're already pre-lubed, so there should be no ping. They are loaded up on a stock GMK87 with some die sub 1.7 millimeter thick keycaps from XVX. I do hope that you enjoyed this quick review. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I want to wish you a wonderful day. And until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.